American Revolution Summary What is American Revolution? It was a political and military struggle between 1765 and 1783 after Britain's North American colonies rejected its imperial. These protests started in objection to taxes levied. The disagreements grew, and they led to open rebellions. The revolution led to independence and formed the United States of America. Other impacts were global, economic, individual, and slavery issues. What led to the American Revolution? The American Revolution was caused by various political, economic, and social issues. Below are the factors that led to this revolution, the British increased power over the colonial countries. The British government started exercising total control over the colonial countries. British enforced laws denying their freedom, making the colonial people rebel. Some of these laws include the Quartering Acts and the Stamp Act. Taxation without representation, the Americans complained about the heavy taxes imposed by the British, yet they were not represented in the Parliament. They protested on the streets, leading to Boston Tea Party, where they threw tea into Boston Harbor and rioted against the Tea Act. Restrictions on trade, the colonial administration wanted to acquire more wealth from Americans through restrictions on trade. They formed some laws, such as the Navigation Acts, denying Americans the right to trade. This act stated that all the goods imported and exported from the colonies would be carried on British ships and sold by British merchants. Ideological differences, both colonists and the British government had different ideas about the administration. Colonists believed in a self-government, enlightenment, and individual liberty, whereas the British firmly believed in supremacy and monarchy, the French and Indian War, the British spent a lot of money funding the French and Indian War so that they could win. This battle caused a strain on their finances, and the burden was felt by the colonies. The British administration imposed new taxes on the colonies to solve the financial crisis, which annoyed the colonies. What are the timelines of the American Revolution? 1765, the Stamp Act was passed and imposed internal taxes on official documents, newspapers, and documents printed in the colonies. This act made the colonies protest and have a representative meeting at the Stamp Act Congress. 1767, Townshend Acts that imposed duties on many items imported to America were passed. 1770, mass murder in Boston occurred, where a group of British soldiers killed a crowd of people of around 300 to 400 people. The crowd was harassing the soldiers verbally and throwing items at them during the protest. 1773, the Boston Tea Party War happened, where colonists dumped tea into Boston Harbor to protest against the Tea Act. This protest involved the Sons of Liberty against the Tea Act. It allowed a British East Indian entity to sell their products in American territory without paying taxes. 1775, the Lexington and Concord battle erupted. It's also called the shot heard round the world. It was the first military engagement, marking the beginning of the American Revolutionary War. The battles were fought in Middlesex County, Massachusetts, in Lexington and Concord towns. 1776, the Continental Convention confirmed the independence on the 2nd of July, and on 4th, adopted the Declaration of Independence, written by Thomas Jefferson. This document affirmed the American colonies, under British authority, were free. 1777, the British forces started depleting until Burgoyne surrendered at Saratoga, New York. This battle led to a significant victory for the Continental Army and became a turning point. 1781, Washington Army defeated British forces in Yorktown. The Continental Army combined troops that overwhelmed their enemies until Cornwallis General surrendered his army of 7,000 men in October 1781. 1783, the Peace of Paris Treaty resolved all the battles formally. The British recognized the United States' independence with the Mississippi River's boundaries. However, they retained Canada. The United States thus became a sovereign nation and started enjoying its ideologies and freedom, Perhaps you are wondering about the economic situation, 
during the American Revolution timelines. You can get detailed interpretation if you place an order for our economics homework help. Which are the impacts of the American Revolution? The American Revolution significantly affected the United States and the world, shaping the history course in many ways. Below are some of the America Revolution aftermaths. Independence, the colonists, won the great battles between the Continental Army and the British. They began by electing the officials and forming the first Continental Congress, which brought unity. They declared their independence in the Second Continental Congress and became a free nation. Democracy, the new government of the United States differed from the British administration. They decided they wanted a government that listened to the people's views and not a dictatorship from a king. This ideology brought democracy to the United States, and people elected their leaders. Individual rights, the new government helped citizens regain their rights. They enjoyed the freedom of communication, worship, and justice in prosecution. This move was the opposite of what happened during the British administration, where their rights were denied, slavery a legal ecosystem of treating people as property. Slavery existed in Northern America, and even after the Revolutionary War, it remained legal. This situation continued in North and South America, until the early 19th century, when the British Navy abolished it, global impact, the American Revolution War and their struggle for independence inspired many suffering nations. This led to other anti-colonial movements around the globe. Some common ones are the Haitian Revolution, Latin American Wars of Independence, and movements for independence in Asia and Africa. Economic impact, the United States government also faced economic challenges before the country could pick up. They had huge debts that had accrued during the Revolution War. However, the situation didn't last long with freedom and enlightenment, people had the freedom to trade, leading to industrialization. Who are the key American leaders during American Revolution? We have a list of the most significant leaders of the American Revolution and their roles. George Washington became the first president of the United States after the Revolutionary War. George also became the commander-in-chief of the American forces during the Revolutionary War. Thomas Jefferson was the primary author of the Declaration of Independence document. Thomas served as the third United States president and worked as the first secretary of state during George Washington's reign. Thomas also served as vice president to John Adams. Benjamin Franklin was a writer, scientist, and statesman who secured French support for the American Revolution. He was the second Continental Congress spokesman and a Declaration of Independence Committee member. John Adams the lawyer and statesman who served as a delegate to the Continental Congress. He was also the second President of the United States. Paul Revere Paul Revere was a silversmith and patriot for the Continental Forces. He warned the colonists that British troops were coming. Samuel Adams was a political organizer and Sons of Liberty leader, a movement that opposed British authority. He helped the colonists immensely during the American Revolution. Patrick Henry a lawyer and statesman who looked forward to American independence. These leaders and others played a significant role in the political history of Americans. Some supported the British Army, while others stood firm for their fellow Americans. If you need to learn more about revolution politics, place an order for our political science essay writing service. Which are the famous American Revolution battles? Powder alarm, this happened in Massachusetts in September 1774, where British soldiers removed military supplies. The Concord-Lexington war occurred on April 19, 1775. This war was the first American Revolution War. The battle was fought in Massachusetts between British troops and colonial militia. Bunker Hill battle happened on the 17th of June 1775. The war occurred in Boston, and the British army got the victory. However, the colonists demonstrated they could put up an intense fight. Battle of Saratoga occurred between September 19 to October 7, 1777. This battle was in New York and became a turning point for the Americans. The war convinced the French to support the American mission, 
and this made Continental's army succeed. Trenton Ward erupted on 26 December 1776. It was a victorious battle for the Continental Army in New Jersey. Yorktown battle fought from the 28th of September to the 19th of October 1781. It was the final Revolutionary War in Virginia. This battle brought victory for the colonists and made the British forces surrender. Which are the common American Revolution essay topics? Describe the causes of the American Revolution, it's a topic that describes the factors that caused American Revolution. You can highlight the political, economic, and social factors outlined above. Describe the key figures in the American Revolution and their roles, you should focus on the significant leaders that led the American Rebellion such as George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Benjamin Franklin. Summarize the major revolutionary battles explore the wars, where they occurred, and the aftermath. Describe the role of religion in developing colonial society, between 1600 and the American Revolution. Why was slavery integrated into colonial America society, and economics? Describe the Stamp Act explain why the tax was introduced, how it was implemented, and its opposition. These topics touch on the social structure of people in terms of organization, behavior, economy, religion and government. If you need help in tackling such aspects in the essay topics, place an order for our sociology homework help.